Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Trinity, hello. You are first. Hi, Trinity. Sheep, hello, hello, hello. Thank you for the head pats. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Raspberry Pi, you're new here. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, welcome on in. Still, yes, I'm back. Um, I'm I'm awake. Uh, to to anyone who has not been paying attention in the Discord server, um, I I've mainly just been talking about it in uh the like general chat because I'm stupid, <laughs> but uh, I kind of got this weird uh sick thing. I wasn't really sick. So I don't really know. My nose was stuffed, but I wasn't like sneezing and coughing and I had a constant migraine. Um, but I just had like a stuffy nose, constant migraine, but I was constantly sleeping. Like, <laughs> like I would, I would wake up, eat food and like basically go right back to bed for like two, three more hours and then like wake up and like pee and then like go back to sleep. And I don't know, it was, I, I was in a coma. <laughs> I was E.B. sleeping. Solvet, Helpy, hello, thank you for the follow. You are now a baby bad, welcome on in. Yeah, uh, but like, I'm good now. I'm good now, hi. I will hydrate, thank you, thank you. Mills, hi, Kiros, hello, 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 bread. Bread, bread, bread. Uh, AJ, hi! Hello, everyone! Thank you all. Thank you all for being here. Yeah, no, I... It's kind of a weird thing, because when you're sleeping all of the time... Oh. Welcome back, Beer 23 Bob. We missed you. Let's hope things get better now. Yes. Uh, anime fan, thank you for the tier one for 11 months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it so, so, so very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But hello, everyone. Hi. Just making sure everything is here and good. Everything is posted. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I got... I haven't I haven't launched today. I normally I normally try to launch and do this before stream. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't. Uh but give me 2 seconds. I have all of the codes. I keep my codes updated. I just haven't uh It's it's been like 3 days, so I don't know if any of them are expired. But just in case, assuming they're not, <laughs> here you guys go. Here's the pin for all of the codes. There you, there you go. I will update it if necessary. I will update it if necessary. Also, anime fan, welcome on in. Draven, hi. Uh, yes, guys. Uh, so I quickly, uh, the, the schedule, the schedule isn't out yet. Um, it will be out, uh, later. I will be releasing the schedule later. <laughs> what the fuck? It logged me out. Uh, after, after this stream, after this stream, I will be releasing the schedule. Um. What else? <laughs> my brain just blanked for community nights this week yeah no 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 we are, we're just going into uh next week normally um but 
I am taking off Monday. I, I am going to take off Monday um, to fully just kind of work on shit. Um, get get all the VODs actually like posted because they're they're uploaded. I just need to post them uh, like unprivate them on the the YouTube. Um, I also go and do timestamps in my VODs for all of you guys who watch the VODs. You can quickly skip through it, kind of. Uh, so I just need to get those posted. Um, and then it's just kind of like editing after, after I get those posted for you guys. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. But, but guys, 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 hello everyone. Um, going, going into next week, everything is just going to be like normal. We're going to have community games on Thursday. We're going to have discord anime night on Saturday. I was going to have, uh, anime night yesterday, but, uh, I figured since I've kind of been gone, <laughs> Been gone. I'm not gonna lie. I passed out at like 6.30 anyway. I passed out at like 6.30 anyway. So. It probably wouldn't have been smart to have anime night. But I figured since I was gone, uh, I it, it would probably just be better to... You deserved a week off? No. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. No, I did not. <laughs> But hey, uh, I, I I did get some work done on the ASMR videos. Uh, to anyone who does not know, I do ASMR as well. Uh, I post it on my Patreon. That's not really what this stream is all about. We are going to be moving over here. I accidentally muted myself. Uh, fuck, we're doing... Fuck, we're doing story. That's what we're doing. We left off, like, right at the end of the story. We left off right at the end of the story. As you can see, I've been in a coma. <laughs> I I've I've been eeping, man. I've been I've been doing an eep. Hardest working streamer out here and she just goes nah because it is a nah. You okay, so think about it this way, deity. Think about it this way. What happens when you don't work? Go stop. Ah, anyway. Uh, no money. There you go, Diddy. There you go. If I don't work, I don't get money. If I don't get money, I... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I will stretch in just a minute, Shockwave. Die? I mean... <laughs> no money does equal no food. That is very true. No money equals a lot of not getting things. <laughs> but it's okay, guys. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm good. We just gotta make up for it. We just gotta... We just gotta make up for it. That's all. We just gotta make up for it. Can you tell I've really been grinding out this game? I never wail. Okay. Time to test all the codes I gave you guys.
Also because I need to claim them as well. Because I have not. That's the wrong button. There we go. Okay, that one's still good. Da, 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 da. That one's still good as well. Okay. Stinky socks! Hello, hello, hello. No work means no E6 Firefly. I, I ain't gonna be getting no E6 Firefly anyway. Even if I if even if I stream 24-7. I would not have enough money for E6 Firefly. Shit, I don't even need the batteries for you anymore. Did I ever need batteries for you? I don't know. I needed batteries for somebody. Who knows? I don't. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna level you up so I can get my free stuffs. Yes, Sola. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you have a good day at work. Thank you for the head pats. Okay. Boom. We go we go here, we go to warp. We we go yep. Yeah. Uh yes, Mills. Ask away. I stretch. Did you check May May Ma chat yet? No, I have not. I won't lie. I'm kind of like a fake mod. <laughs> I'm kind of like a fake mod. I don't even know where it's at. I don't even think I can see it. No, I can. Yeah, no, I saw that. I I thought I thought we were going off of something today. Okay, no, we're good. I have. That sounds fun, Socks. That sounds fun. That sounds fun. Uh, real quick, what's my audio at? Cool, cool, cool. Okay, guys. We are officially set up and ready. 
we are going to be continuing the story i'm pretty much right at the end from uh where i'm, I'm gonna hydrate even though i did i'm gonna do it again i'm gonna posture check we're stopping the music because this is super serious story time stuff uh guys don't forget to claim the codes like use the codes in game um if you haven't yet uh i am doing i believe still the latest panacone story so if you are not wanting to see that i'm Yank. But yeah, just in case, if you do not want to see the latest story, now is your time to run away. I don't want you to. Trust me. I don't want you to go anywhere. But... I understand not everyone enjoys spoilers, so. Okay. I think I grabbed everything. Berry brush. Brush? You know, I understand bush. I've been called bush. On more than one occasion, but. Not brush. Hold on, story. There are birds to yank. And chests to open. This is really weird because it's kind of just silent. Normally this game has like a constant... You yank your birds? Yeah. You don't yank- oh. Yes. They won't suddenly start moving, will they? Oh, oops. Are these puppets part of the stage setup? Even so, it's so eerie that the entire front hall is empty. Hold on, I have knowledge and oh. does that hurt? And clockies to fix. Brother. Br bro. 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 Bro, 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 bro. Brother. Why? How do I get? How do I? How do I? Uh. Looks good to me. That I can say for sure. Bro, I don't... I don't know. There's nothing I can do that... 
Obviously, there's something I can do. Uh, b -b 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 glasses. Uh. Did he just tell me to hurry up? I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. Oh my god. Oh, fish. It was the glasses. The glasses did it. I... I don't... I don't... Is it you? Oh! Guys, I'm a genius! Guys, I'm a genius! I did it! Oh, maybe I should get this. That might be smart. Look at me go. Yippee, yippee, yippee. Something feels off. We're in the right place, right? Yes, March. There's no other grand theater in the dreamscape. So Sunday's messing with us? He said we'd have a final showdown on the stage, but why is there no one here? My apologies for the delay, March 7th. Uh, you scared me! Where are you now? I'm waiting for you behind the curtain. Following the Asdana tradition, I invite you to enjoy a stage play in three acts before the festival begins. History okay. is a mirror reflecting the universe's true essence. Let's use this opportunity to delve into the rich history of Penacony and the eons. Within it, naturally, the future takes shape. Let us commence with the dawning of the world. After the Dusk Wars, darkness veiled the sky and chaos consumed the earth. Anna, the order emerged. Oh, I could walk now. Destined to restore all existence. That marked the first day. You know I'm gonna collect everything guys okay but that's a lot to collect um i'll creating a grand liar with black and white keys strike the white keys and the sun rose strike the black keys and the moon rose and so the cycle Day and night arose. That marked the second day. Yeah, 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 second day. Hold on, there's a chest. Thank 
thank you for the lurky saints. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hellfire, hello, welcome on in. Hi. The puppets are gathering around the frame. Are they expecting us to enter it? They're kind of like bowing, like. Okay. We. <laughs> Stage play act one, ode to prisoner. Where are we now? Uh, the atmosphere here, here. <laughs> looks similar to Sunday's inner world. Perhaps this so called stage play is created with his abilities. This act is named Ode to Prisoner. Given the atmosphere here, I believe it's about Pentagoni's past. I thought things were finally looking up as I managed to dodge prison during my recent trailblazing expeditions. But now it looks like I'll be back behind bars again. When March cry. I genuinely wish to avoid a violent clash with my esteemed guests from afar. <gasps> I've arranged three acts before the situation becomes irreparable. Where shall we start our narrative? Well, let's start with the time when Panacone was still a frontier prison. I hope that didn't just cancel all of his dialogue. Where shall we start our narrative? Okay. Well, Let's start with the time when Panacone was still a frontier prison. Maybe I didn't have to kill them. Didn't think about that one. What did March do to Barry? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Listen, all I'm saying is if like I got to chill here forever with like my computer and like food, I would. The human body is beautiful. Look at how like, bro, is so like. open and like cozy <gasps> yeah You scared me. United a struggle for liberty and emerged triumphant. IPC referred to it as the War of the Frontier, while the Asdanians dubbed it the War of Independence. Hello, Jesus. Hello, hello, hello. Wait, is the fish not working? It likes to not work sometimes. Oh, it's working. Okay, we're good. Never mind. I take it back. Go sleep, Barry? No! <laughs> Shut 
Barry got the early stream E. I don't know about that. <laughs> I've been EP. However, the three nameless stayed on the planet, endeavoring to spread the tenets of Trailblaze throughout the frontier prison. Alas, their efforts proved futile. No, I've been I've been dealing with a weird cold, guys. Hawkmoon, I I haven't streamed for a week. Once again, as Donna was engulfed in war, this time the enemies originating from within. The prisoners remained prisoners for the rest of their lives. Isn't that the wine? The Zhang Li talks about. <laughs> what's what's the wine? That what that sounds very familiar. Similar. That sounds very similar. Is it not Astana's wine? Osmanthus wine! No! Of course, deity. Deity comes in. Osmanthus wine. As you can see, their sentences have long ended, and the IPC guards have long been expelled. Yet. These prisoners remain enslaved, not by external forces, but by the confines of their own minds. <gasps> no, Cloud, I was just about to say it because I've I've heard it so many times that like I I've memorized the whole Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. But where are those who share the memory? <laughs> That's funny. No, Hawkmoon, I'm better now. That's why I'm streaming now. Goodness, goodness. It's every corner except fragile souls. It gives solace only to those who believe in its existence. Prisoner, this is my order. Learn the essence of freedom and teach your fellow prisoners to fight for their lives. Hey, why do we have to fight while well, enjoying the show? For I desire not only your enjoyment, but also your assistance in its completion. Squint's eyes promise. Yes, I promise. On the other hand, I would also like to say thank you for the posture check, by the way. I did do that. <laughs> Hawkmoon, this is. Streaming's my full time job. So even if I wanted to take more time off, I can't really afford to. Stand still. Larry, did you see the next update characters? For what? Do you know how many games I play? <laughs> Net marker activated. Time for a good old counter attack. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. No, you're you're good, Echo. Uh no, I did not. Ill tidings manifest. Ow, ow, ow. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, Xiao Meow. I don't know. <gasps> whoa, whoa! Sorry. I hope I said your name right. Why was this Minecraft? Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you for the raid. I hope I said your name correctly, Xiao Meow. The Meow part sounds about accurate. Sunday, shut up. Two seconds. Two seconds, Sunday. Best clip. I feel like that really... 
I feel like that really sums up your streams. I want to be a cowboy. <laughs> GG, yeah. <laughs> and everyone that was here before, please, please, please go, go check out Xiao Miao. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the raid. Everyone, please go follow them now. You are forced. You are forced. It says you are doing ASMR. How is that? Uh, super duper sorry uh, if you wanted to raid something more cozy. I also do ASMR as well. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know if there's maybe overlap there. But uh, it, we're we're cozy anyway. Uh, Osaka dreams and Vazonk. Thank you, thank you both for the follows as well as you, Xiao Miao. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you so much uh, for the raid. Thank you for trusting me with your lovely, lovely uh, community. Uh, I really do appreciate it. But please, uh, Xiao, if you. <laughs> if you need to go any of that after stream self-care sleeping go take a shower go eat some food make sure to hydrate go pee pee poo poo okay go do everything you have to do as well as everyone else coming from the raid as well please go take care of yourself get some sleep if you need to uh, i normally do stream every single day i just got back from like a week-long sick vacay i was sick i was sick but i'm back now i'm back howdy what's up um to anyone curious we are playing honkai star rail we are doing the latest uh Penicone story stuff so if you do not want to be spoiled i do suggest maybe dropping a follow and coming back later uh but to anyone curious hi hello i'm barry i am a vegan vampire vtuber that just means i only drink blood consensually so you have nothing to worry about i am a super duper variety streamer <laughs> Uh, I do Overwatch, Fortnite, Honkai Star Rail, Withering Waves. Uh, I, I I like gotchas. I like shooters. I also like MMOs and stuff like that. I do horror games normally every Sunday, but I just got back from being sick. I wanted something a bit more cozy, and I really wanted to finish up my story. <laughs> Go use the litter box. Oh, Sock, I hope you feel better. It really does suck, especially uh, if you get if you get it to the point where you can't like taste or smell it. That's like the worst. There, there's something when you, when you have like the fever and stuff like that, it's almost like bearable. But when you lose your sense of like taste and smell, it's like, why do I exist? <laughs> Just to suffer. Barry could drink my blood anytime she wants. Let's go! Um, oh yeah, also, uh, in, besides gaming at night, I tend to do ASMR every single night from around 8 p.m. to 12 a.m. Uh, yeah, that's, that's just another thing I do. It doesn't get in the way of my gaming streams, and we get to kind of rewind and wind down, calm down, relax after gaming all day. But we are going to continue. If you do not want any Honkai Star Wars spoilers of the new story that recently came out, don't. D go away. Respectfully. I I'm warning you. You can't get mad at me. This must be how Penicone was constructed. With the aid of outsiders, the prisoners were finally liberated and established the land of the exiles. However... It appears that Sunday aims to convey the spiritual plight of the prisoners more than the physical aspects of imprisonment. Uh, this show is a bit too... literary for my taste. But the battle part is quite easy to understand. Yeah, war! Murder! Through here? What do you mean? Hold on, I have achievements. I 
if it was... Wait. Oh. <laughs> they transmuted streams of stars into inked nibs, creating symbols to be pronounced and counted. They molded stardust into flowing rivers, assigning the righteous upstream and the unjust downstream. Okay, I'll go this way. Sorry. Things were marked, and the world learned to discern between good and evil. That marked the third and fourth days. <laughs> Sounds like the world. And how the world works. Holy shit, I love this fishing thing. Oh my god, yes! Thank you, thank you! Uh, Barry, you going for May and next update? Uh, depends. Um, I, I, I want Huo Huo more than anything. And I kind of like just pulled a uh, Fu Xuan or whatever. I'll never get these names right. Well, I'm not pulling for him. <laughs> Yeah, I get it. Another frame. But there are collectibles, March. There are collectibles. Stage play act two. Oh, the full. Oh, the full. This must be the second act. The surroundings are different from before. The stage decorations look a bit tidier now. Yippee! Very angry at March today. No, I'm just telling her to hold on, okay? I got... ensuing tale. A struggle for power. And a... Hold... On. Sunday. I have to get the bird. Man, I should have said skill issue to the bird. That's upsetting. No, and I cut off his words. That's a balloon, and I want it. It is such a awkwardly placed balloon. Okay. What do you want? Uh... Had to get him. It was looking at me. Francie! Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to this mansion. Land of the Exiles was in disarray, besieged by both internal and external perils. Though the seven major lineages appeared united on the surface, each harbored their own ambitions. Leading to ceaseless conflict. Ah, uh, da 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 da.
please flip? Thank you. I was gonna say something, and then it left. I'm upset, man. What was I gonna say? Barry! Aha! <laughs> no! So <laughs> Man, I've skipped over his dialogue so many times accidentally. I'm so sorry, Sunday. I don't mean it that way. Trading freedom for survival. However, his eldest son slew him in the name of righteousness and ascended as the new family head. Yeah, no, it's just, like, whenever I interact with something, it just completely cuts off his dialogue. Which, like, is, like, understandable. I, I get it, you know, game code, but, like... Man, stop! Stop! Bat boy! Hello, hello, hello! Only when Gopher Wood led the family to land of the exiles and earned recognition from all five major lineages did Panacone earn its new name, the Land of the Dreams. Dear outsider, I beseech your aid in purging this mansion of the poison spread by the lurking instigators. Yeah. Oh yeah, also, because of the raid, hello, everyone new here, uh, I do have all of the uh, most recent up-to-date active Honkai Star Rail, like, redemption codes pinned in chat. So, you know, if you would like some free things for the game, there you go, redeem those. I always keep them updated for you guys. Looks like it's about Penacone's journey to becoming the land of the dreams, during which the family plays a crucial role. But this new master seems like a bad guy to me, don't you think? Perhaps this is the truth Sunday is trying to express, if you read between the lines. The Harmony changed Penacone just as the guards once did. Bad boy, my day is going good. Uh, happy Father's Day, by the way, to, to any fathers out there. Hi. I try to attract the daddy energy. It doesn't work. But happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Hello, hello, hello. Nah, I don't really care about Sunday. Sunday's not it for me, personally. Uh, but yeah, happy Father's Day, everyone. Uh, earlier this morning for breakfast, I took my dad to a nice, like, breakfast, like, restaurant thing. Not, like, McDonald's breakfast, like, an actual, like, breakfast restaurant um oh no the va is great you know like sunday as like a voice like the, the voice acting for sunday sunday as a character great awesome cool sunday is just like a gnaw for me you know i only care about sunday also 
Also, to anyone also new here, uh, if you don't know, I run ads every hour of streaming. So coming up here in a couple of minutes, I will be running some ads while I go take a quick bathroom break, refill my water, stretch, really do whatever I got to do. So it doesn't... I get to go take care of myself. <laughs> I get to go take care of myself. And uh, I also don't progress in the story. So all of my subs don't actually miss anything going on. But yeah. What? Hello. In the absence of my master, I am free. But without their guidance, for whom shall I sing? Yippee, yippee. I shall sing for my new master, just as their noble voice once resonated throughout the cosmos. Yeah, hold on, there's a chest here and it's more important. Okay, now I can make you guys happy. An accountant? You will return in due course, and I shall stand vigilant, awaiting the reward for my loyalty. Calm down. Now that you have gone, I shall wait no longer for my reward. I shall seize what is rightfully mine. Okay, pop off. Have your little villain arc moments, okay. I stood as the most loyal guard among all the servants. Now with my master banished, it's my right. To assume control of his dominion. Yeah, okay. Uh, anyway. My former master has long departed. But why do I still fear the remnants of his creation? Uh, maybe he wasn't a good guy. Master is no longer here. I thought I'd be free, but... I'm not. Now, without my master's command, I'll have to seek guidance from the blind. You're that fake? Just do your own thing. Like, you don't- you don't have to be told what to do to do things. Believe it or not, you can do what you want to do. Master is no longer here. I must seek a new master and serve them faithfully. You don't need to serve anybody, advisor doll just saying you know maybe lead yourself but i shall return to my former master i shall not submit to a new master under any circumstances the struggle of a sub <laughs> I no, I can't. I'm sorry. You know, I'm actually who can grant me true freedom. You yourself literally uh there's nothing called true freedom. What they must like, that they're in control of whatever. Get ready. Looks like another fight is about to begin.
Those ads are going to be popping soon. I'm scared. Oh, shit. Awkward. Hey, don't flick me. That's rude. I'm okay. Whoa. Ready for another? Relax. Hmm. Ill tidings manifest. May as well kill them all. Okay, those ads popped. I'm going. I'm gonna pop some lo-fi for you guys so you don't have to listen to that constantly but i i will be right back guys mwah, mwah, mwah. i appreciate you all being here enjoy the lo-fi i'll be our
please tell me what the fuck you all are on about? All right. Anyway, <laughs> time to say bye. Boom. Oh, wait. Do you <laughs> do you mean in the BRB screen, the chair? <laughs> or did you guys fish off a chair? That's better. <laughs> Damn. Damn! Something. Getting my ass kicked over here. What the fuck? Stand still. Ill-fate descends. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Didn't hurt. <laughs> Ready for another? Relax. Nap time. Ill tidings manifest. Mills, you should know this by now. When ads pop, I go and like stretch and like use the bathroom or like do self care things that I need to do. So you guys don't miss anything in game and and stuffs like that, you know. Slaves till the very end with the illusion of freedom. Thus concludes the second <laughs> act amidst an illusory. I have a hydrate, the okay. land of the exiles charted its course toward becoming the planet of festivities. <sighs> this is how Peniconi fell under the family's control. Since uh, the arrival of the harmony. Not all the time. I only take my headset with me when I'm doing community Not games. It's three minutes, Mills. Really <laughs> it's three minutes of ads. The amount of ads you get still sums up to three minutes. Uh, sometimes you might get four, sometimes you might get ten. Uh, it all just depends on Twitch. Believe it or not, I don't do it on purpose. <laughs> Get up here, Loon! Okay, Bubs. Okay. My Chaos Demon. Oh. Looney, you, you skipped that for me. <laughs> okay, Looney. Come here. You silly baby. Looney, I can't see my screen. Looney. Looney. Oh, and not. Come here, you silly butt. Oi. You gotta lay down. You gotta lay down. No. lay down cuddles as I call them. And I can't supply lay down cuddles. 
Me, me and Luna have been doing tons of cuddling. Because I've been... I've been sleeping a lot. <laughs> so... She's just been like cuddling up next to me. More than normal. Because I've been sleeping more than normal. They used the planetary rings to establish the law. Forging a code of conduct among the masses. A grand lyre with black and white keys served as an instrument, while symbols of articulation and numerical notation took the form of musical notes. The downward flowing river became a melody, and the canon of law dictated the form. Thus, all mortals found their unique place within this symphony. That marked the fifth and sixth days. I got a bunch. There we go. Oh, what is she? What? Luna? What is Luna? Uh, Luna, to anyone who does not know, uh, that's my baby girl, aka my cat. Uh, very generic cat name, uh, Luna, for, you know, like, like, <laughs> if you, literally, if you search up black cat names, Luna is gonna be, like, number one. Uh, it's he, uh, but yeah, she, she's just a cat. <laughs> um... I love her to death. Uh, she also goes by Looney or Looney Tooney. Uh, Luna is her official name. Uh, I also now call her Sleep Paralysis Demon. Okay, I used to just call her a demon. Now she's a Sleep Paralysis Demon. Stage, stage play act three, ode to order. Because she likes to do this thing now where I'll be peacefully sleeping, slumbering away, hunk me, 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 you know? And she will decide to jump on me from my chair, my gaming chair. She will climb up like the back of it where you put your head. She will stand on that and jump on me in my sleep. Or she will like chew my hair and like pull on it with her mouth. Uh, and 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 like bite me and so now she's my sleep paralysis demon cat because i'll be sleeping and i have to wake up to the abuse of my cat <laughs> but i love her and she will do that and i will wake up and give her loving so and the atmosphere here is completely different from the previous two scenes. I also call her stinky butt. She doesn't normally have a stinky butt, but she likes to blow up the litter box. This is the concluding act of this play. I have showcased the past and present of Panacone. That's cruel. I'm hoping that my desire for change resonates within you. And now I shall reveal its future to you. Lack foresight. We will make 
choices on their behalf and bear the responsibility. Please let me go up. You know, I was trying not to hit you, believe it or not. Yeah, fish. Get back on that fishing grind. You guys haven't been able... You guys haven't been able to do your fishing grind for, for a minute now. I don't know. Um. I thought I had to go the long way. I was wrong. Hmm. We can use it. Oh. Oh, hey, I'm back here. Um, also, um, I know I didn't release a schedule this week and I've been gone this whole week. Uh, I know I'm streaming now currently. Um, and I, I plan to do this stream like normal. But... I don't know about ASMR tonight. We, we will see when we get there, but don't expect it. I I would rather you guys not expect it and... Did I not talk to the bubble? Okay. But yeah, I would rather you guys not expect it and get it than expect it and not get it. <laughs> Oh my god, I have to scroll for this one. It's kind of crazy. What? There we go. Eh? I already did that! And it didn't do it! Whatever. Ooh woo and oh woe. Go back down. A 
Let me get more bubble. We go up. Are you an oo-woo or an oo-woo oh kind of gal? I think I'm more of an oo-woo. get over there I see. Not really. Uh. That is not true. I just feel like oh whoa is more of like a sexy thing and ooh woo is more of like a cute thing. And I don't really listen. Hi, daddy. Hi, Shinagawa. Uh, so since I'm daddy, uh, what am I getting for Father's Day? <laughs> Sinagawas, thank you, thank you, thank you for the follow. But you know, I don't have a lot of sexy energy. I know you guys say I do. I don't really think I do. I'm, I'm very much more of like a... <laughs> I don't know our undying love and loyalty. Damn. The story I guess. Just like we did before. You ain't got the sex. So, do you think <laughs> their mind needs Not really. Or something? Based on the experience from Act 2, it seems you'll need to employ the clockwork once again to personally bring the performance to fruition. Bro, I don't... I don't know if satisfied is... I don't know if that resembles satisfied. <laughs> huh. Heard. I can't change the emotions. Daddy's Day today? Yes, it it is Father's Day. My apologies for my negligence. I forgot to inform you that the final part was scripted long ago. Let our previous king recount it to you. Now it is time for the final fight. Prepare for battle. Looks like we'll have to fight again. Damn. Time to say bye. Boom. Boom. You do radiate cuteness, not sexiness. Just you wait till you see the new model. Speaking of, speaking of the new model. Speaking of, uh, I, I posted, I posted some very light leaks. <laughs> In the Discord server. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I saw them dogs. There are feet. I did post the feet. In general. You gotta scroll through general, but there are feet. The little weirdos. Hmm. 
what is mine shall wane, while you shall transcend its delicate nature. This is the final scene. It's much more straightforward. He wants to expel the harmony and establish an empire based on the order. You should keep those grippers under lock. No, I don't think I will. Um, but I I did post a close up of the eyeballs in uh the Notice Me channel because I know that's a common thing uh people in like the VTuber community will do is they will like leak a kind of like that up there. And then because I was also able to see it bald, I I <laughs> I figured I would do a close zoom in cutout of of the bald because I I don't know I, I figured you guys would find it funny. Let's go. Once this stage play concludes, it'll be time for the main event, the Charmony Festival. Oh my god, the thighs look so good, but I'm not gonna show you. The thighs are so nice. They're like perfectly like... Like shiny. They have that like thigh shine, you know? <laughs> Whoa, cutscene. Hold on, guys. Perfecting all things in the heavens and on earth. Then, they rested from the labors of creation. Yet, all beings cried out to Enna. Under the banner of the Order, you have defined all things in the cosmos. But this made us realize that we are but puppets in your hands. Thus, on that day, all beings united and cast the Eon into the abyss of oblivion. This grand theater looks totally different. Is this the power of the Order? Everyone, get ready. This could be a tough I'm gonna battle. kick your ass! Listen, all I'm saying is if you want to see it so badly, which there is going to be thigh squish. I could have done that the entire time. I'm crying. That marked the seven there will be thigh squish, and if you want to see him so badly, Cheers, you can help find the new model. But C6 for... But like, new model equals new Barry model on stream, yes. But also Barry merch. Don't you want Barry ass pad? Ass mouse pad? Don't you want Barry body pillow? That's double sided. What are your reflections on this, my dear guests? Nevertheless, this is but a trivial blip in the annals of galactic history. What truly matters is the course this river shall take in the days to come. You've arrived at the perfect moment. The Charmony Festival is about to commence. And it would be a shame if you were absent for the Harmony's prologue. Allow me to extend my warmest welcome once more. Welcome to Penacone Theater. The very core of the sweet dream. The abode of the Stellaron. The grand stage of the Charmony Festival. And... 
the very place where the future of Panacone shall be determined through conflict. <laughs> Sorry, Sunday, I had to sneeze. I didn't read that out loud. I'm sorry. Your unwavering faith in the trailblaze is truly impressive. Thank you, guys. <laughs> True goodness can only be achieved through faith. Allow me to point out that falling into a permanent slumber is not happiness. Especially when those people are driven by someone else's will in their sleep. Do you still believe that the Order only seeks to control the universe as their puppet, Himiko? No matter how perfect your vision of paradise may be, a cage remains a cage. People will never achieve true happiness in a world like that. They would just be toys for the eon. <sighs> it seems you have misunderstood my intentions. Ow. Thank you for the hydrate. Thank you, thank you, Allow thank you. Clarify. My desire is not to resurrect a fallen eon. Or become one myself. My sole objective is to create a paradise free from eons, where the order ensures the thank you for the head of all humanity. A paradise exclusive to us human beings. Uh huh. That's not the case. If people are to live with dignity, there must be nothing and no one above them. In your so-called paradise. You would be the one reigning supreme. <laughs> Looks like we won't be able to convince each other. Now that our conflict has been destined, let's unveil our paths and reveal to the universe the true path. However, Can the new model sit on me though? No. <laughs> begins, please take a moment to ponder the questions I've posed. Is darkness equal Whoa. to daylight? Are sinners equal to the righteous? If you are born weak, which god should you turn to for solace? Do we still have the upper hand? What I will say though is like the body pillow will be cuddleable. Ah. Uh. Naughty child. <laughs> Relax. Destiny isn't chosen. Ill fate descends. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Not the phantom tags. I'm okay. Say bye to breathing. Enemy data security markers activated. Time for a good old counterattack. Why are they so cunty? Nap time. Stand still. What do you want to know? Ill tidings manifest. Damn, I shouldn't have done that. May as well kill them all. <laughs> We have the upper hand. Ouch. Just, Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Thanks for the support. Not the Ohio. Oh my god. Deity, stop. Destiny isn't chosen. I hate it here. I want to go home. Say bye to breathing. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. Enemy targets detected. I want to go home. Enemy data signet markers activated. Time for a good old counterattack. Ouch. I'm okay. 
Nap time. Stand still. Ill fate descends. May as well kill him all. <laughs> I'm so dead. That hurts. <laughs> Relax. What do you want to know? Ill tidings manifest. <laughs> Memories beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. I'm so dead. Oh my god. Cough. Please. Kafka, you need to carry. Please. You're the only one here that really does anything. It's right there. No! Oh, I did not see the face. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, we're so dead. Oh, no, guys. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. That's better. Oh, oh. Oh, just, just a little something. Think nothing of it. Destiny's <laughs> hand has truly blessed me. Oh, they hurt. Brother. Y'all can stop. Give me a second. Memories of beneath. Give me a second. Oh, Lordy Lou. Time for a shot. Destiny's hand has truly blessed me. Oh, my God. What do you want to know? Uh, stand still. Please stop. Please stop. No. That's better. Thanks. You're too good to me. Just a little something. Oh my God. Destiny's hand has truly blessed me. <laughs> Relax. Good times. Time to say bye. Oh. <laughs> That'll take more than medicine. <laughs> Stand still. Uh. Oh. oh. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Nap time. It's okay, we will get there. <laughs> Relax. No. <laughs> Please, not like this. If only Ho 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 was out. I I want Ho Ho. I want Ho Ho. Thanks. Oh, just all keep everyone alive, please, Nat. You're too good to Kafka, do all of the damage. Thank you, fully leveled up, Nat. That's better. 
I wouldn't be able to do without you. Good times never last. Time to say bye. Boom. Kafka, you gotta carry harder. Destiny isn't chosen. You have to carry harder. Stand still. Memories of beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Didn't hurt. <laughs> Blessed. Ill tidings manifest. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Fuck you, Sunday. I already know your decision. I now permit you to gaze into the sun. On these 107,336 stones, the almighty and powerful strings of harmony are at my disposal. The supreme tuner, harmonious choir, Hold on, did I get did I get my Pella back? Please. Oh thank you. The true purpose of the Charmony Festival is to usurp it. Every time you break a layer of enemy toughness, you gain a certain collective shield. Collective shield can take damage on behalf of all allies, and the shield effect represents the amount of damage the shield can currently endure. Okay. Time to make a decision. I have. Oh. Can I? I can't play in slow mode. Nap time. Relax. What do you want to know? Ill fate descends. <laughs> I may as well kill them all. Disorderly noise. Mind your manner. Why No, it's okay. I have Kafka ult. Look, see, I have Kafka ult. Ready for another? Stand still. Naughty child. Noise. Fuck, I should have used her all prior. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Thanks for the support. I do have music on. Ill tidings manifest. Disorder because neither side could tolerate discord. Memories are ever beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. And this data secured. Netmarkers activated. Time for a good old counterattack. That's okay, we're chilling. I'm feeling like there's another world in front of my eyes. Well, it's the power of tuning. Don't let the song distract you. Thanks for the support. Relax. Kafka will carry. It's fine. Say bye to breathing. Disorderly noise. Time for a shot. Mm. Nap time. Stand it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Just a little something. We have Kafka. Kafka? We have Nat ult. We almost have Kafka ult. We almost have Pella ult. Use that shit. Nat ult. Nat- Hello? Kafka ult! GG's. Creation 
hung. Hi. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I knew that from the water. I knew. Yeah. We already knew that was happening. Hey, wake up! The sun's frying your butt. Oh, are you all right? Can you hear me? Do you remember your name? <laughs> That's the same thing she says when you first wake up. Why does that line sound so familiar? Does? Well, doesn't ring any bells to me. Looks like your mind's still in one piece. If you're able to remember such details, well, that's reassuring. What happened while I was out? Uh, it's a long story. Uh, simply put, Don Hung used the Jade Abacus as allying oath when we were in the middle of a fierce battle and summoned the general to help us just in time. And then we returned to reality. Look, this is your room. Everyone else has also returned from the dreamscape. Himeko and the rest are at the lobby discussing matters with the general. And now that you're awake, we should tell the crew that you're all right. Come with me. <laughs> Not going to come chat with me, sleepyhead. That voice. Is that Black Swan? Oh, I really was like, damn, that's a new Black Swan, like, idol voice. Hey guys, little reminder, okay? Little reminder. Hey, where are you going? That uh, you know, claim get get the codes, the codes that are pinned in chat. Redeem them if you haven't. We love free things and expensive games. And also, like, if you haven't followed me yet, I stream every single day. See? Fate by Hand gets it. Thank you for the follow! You are not a baby bat. Fate by Hand, welcome on in. Get comfy, get cozy. I am a sleepyhead. Nothing, Miss March. I noticed she was awake and wanted to check to see how she was doing. Though the strike from the general was timely, its destruction was also immense. When emanators collide, ordinary people inevitably suffer. But, luckily for them, the dreamscape is my home turf. Thankfully, I managed to get everyone out before the harmonious choir collapsed. Oh, so that's what happened! Uh, thank you, Miss Black Swan! Don't mention it. After all... I wouldn't want to see such precious memories vanish. You're heading to see your friends, aren't you? Would it bother you if I walked with you for a short while? No, not at all. You can stay with me forever, Mommy. But you're not planning on doing something like last time, are you? <laughs> Why would you think that? I've never harbored any ill intentions. Well, not when you are around, anyway. Himeko and Mr. Yang are probably still busy. Let's go look for Don Hung first! Gotta follow Bat VTuber, I will have you know. I'm a vampire. Me, 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 me. 
<laughs> Eric! Hello, hello. Listen, do you know how much Don Hung Boot Hill like ship ing there is? It's insane. You're awake. How do you feel? Well, fork me. Pork me. Hi. Oh, justice! Hold on. Pork, huh? I myself prefer spooning. Justice, thank you for the tier one for seven months. Justice, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Huge. Huge. Allow me to introduce him to you. This is Boot Hill, a galaxy. Ring. Justice, aren't you supposed to be sleeping or working? Suit of a certain person. We crossed paths and just so happened to uncover a shocking plot being concocted by oh. Mr. Sunday, <laughs> which is why we sought you out to help the Astral Express. Save the world together. No need for thanks. The Galaxy Ranger's principle is correct every injustice one sees. That's how you lot in the Sien shall put it, right, Don Hong? Uh, more or less. Wait, hold on a sec. This is the first time I'm hearing about this certain person. Who are you chasing? And why would that lead you to the Express? <laughs> uh, good Ow! Justice! Justice, justice, justice! Thank you, thank you, thank you for the 10 tier 1 gifted subs to The Girl Plays, Clueless 16, Vicious Muse, uh, Cult, Gulv, uh, Xyrix, uh, Coffee, Intelligence, Zealous Crow, Ghostix, Ghostix, uh, Logic, Logixian, uh, lo, load, Logician. I know how to read. Thank you, that's huge. Also, we started a hype train, guys. We started a fucking hype train. That's insane. We got four minutes. Ad start in about three. We have four minutes. We are at level four. I think we need about five tier one subs or a an amount of bits to get to uh, the thing. Yes, yes. Tragic. What? What? Tragic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on back. I remember you. I remember all of my baby bats. ASMR stream today. It depends. Come on, don't keep me in suspense. All good, tragic. All good, but yes, ASMR, I'm not sure. We will we'll, we'll get there when we get there. We got three minutes. Three minutes, three minutes. Give me $500. I don't even have one. Hundred, to be specific. I can't seem to remember either. On. Forget about it. If it slipped all our minds, reckon that person was just a minor scoundrel. Unimportant. Ain't gonna stop us from piecing together the story anyhow. Yes. When the dust settles, I'll just think of a way to recall it in the memory zone. Everyone, let's hurry up and look for Miss Himigo, shall we? She's now a minor star on Kanakoni, and the entire hotel's concerned about her well-being. You're right. Let's head to the lobby, then.
We just got the chest. I was looking at what? She been blushing on my berry. That's me. Oh, I just go through the fucking door. Berry. Just just go go through the door. There you go. Look, they're with the Oops. <laughs> That's all right. In these times of conflict, for the sake of utmost safety, it is only right that the Alliance steps forward to mediate on behalf of the Astral Express. We must not allow you to take unnecessary risks. Furthermore, despite the IPC's eagerness for success, it prioritizes peace above all. And the family, trapped though it may be, professes a desire for harmony. The Alliance has always won people over with reason. I firmly believe both parties can indeed put aside their differences and come to a peaceful agreement. The General possesses a deep understanding of the greater good. With the Cienjo Alliance mediating, peace for Penicone is within reach. <laughs> you flatter me. But ultimately, it's been all down to the Express. Without your efforts, this sweet dream paradise would have been claimed by the last remnants of order before there was even a shot at peace. Okay, guys. For one, if you got gifted a sub, please say thank you. Please say thank you to Justice, okay? Or, you know, the person who gifted you a sub. I'm just talking about this specific one. <laughs> please thank Justice. You know, be, be grateful, okay? <laughs> Uh, but ads are about to start for all of the, uh, non-subbies. All of the non-subbies. Also, we reached a level 3 hype train! And the emote has been given out to you guys as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the support. Thank you, Justice. They're all... The ads got snoozed. That's okay. But... But, uh, just know ads are going to be starting here in just a couple of minutes. Uh, when this happens, don't worry, you won't miss out on any story. I'm going to just take a little break. Uh, I need to get more water. I'm out of water. Well, would you look at that? Here comes the big hero. Thank you for the lurk, Echo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It was nothing, really. <laughs> Here's the Galactic Baseballer. Dash me! The Galactic Baseballer! Hi! Are you okay? I heard you couldn't wake up. Are you feeling unwell? I'm great. Uh, don't worry, Mr. Yang. There's nothing wrong with her. She practically burned through a lifetime's worth of jokes on the way here. What about you, Mr. Yang? I heard that even Miss Robin wasn't spared. And that guy locked you both up. It's a long story. But at least Mr. Sunday took it easy on us. He used an ability called tuning to connect our consciousnesses with his. In other words, he imprisoned us within his consciousness. Thanks to bonk. The you research, can't bonk me. Choir, we were able to escape. I can confidently say now, he was truly after a fair fight with us. Had he wanted, he could have easily taken us down without so much as lifting a finger. Speaking of the Oak family head, where is he now? It's complicated, but in a nutshell, he's now the former Oak family head. The IPC has named him the key figure in the family's Penacony split, citing a threat to cosmic peace. He must represent the family and answer for the unrest caused. His trial is set to take place at Pier Point. The family quickly labeled him and the remnants of the Order as enemies, declaring the turmoil an internal rebellion. This move. Oh my god, so is like Robin the head? Intervening in family affairs 
on both moral and rational grounds. Everyone really has their own agenda, after all. Nebulae! Hello, hello, hello! To Miss Robin? She and Sunday won't be able to deny their involvement in the Charmony Festival. They're siblings, after all. <sighs> Why the sigh, General? I can only say that this incident is an unexpected mess for the girl. The Alliance will try to persuade the family to consider this matter carefully during mediation. It's time, everyone. The IPC's key members and I have agreed to consult one another before the upcoming negotiation. Do any of you wish to sit in? Given the General's invitation and the matter's significance to the universe, the crew will naturally accept. However, if the IPC has any reservations... Why, of course you're welcome. They've mentioned that your team is a trusted ally of the IPC in Pentcoin, so there's no reason not to welcome you. You're at this part of the quest, yes. I'm pretty much, I, I believe, right at the end. Um, but Nebulae, thank you, thank you, thank you for the follow. You are now a baby bat. Welcome on in. Uh, I'm putting this message here again, just in case. Ads are about to start. I am quickly going to take a... A uh, quick little BRB when they do start, so for all of the people who don't have subs, uh, you won't miss any of the story going on. If there can be reliable observers from the Astral Express present, discussions will go more smoothly. So, what do you all think? And I get to have like a little self-care moment. <laughs> well then, we shall oblige. I'm kind of allergic to those types of situations. I think I'll just head back to my room and start packing. Fair. Not to worry. Himiko and I won't take care of things. Bless. Thank you, Welt. I'm afraid I'll also have to return to the Express first. The conductor is worried about us. It's best I go and explain the situation. Okay, guys. Ads popped. Uh, sorry to anyone who missed out on the Don Hong dialogue, but I will be RB. I'm going to go stretch and refill my water and I will be right back. Mwah. Mwah. Enjoy. Enjoy the, the, the nice lo-fi and I guess chair sama or whatever, you little weirdos.
I'm back. I have arrived. We stop the music and we continue. Welcome back from Ad Hell, everyone. I went, I got more water. I did a little stretchy stretch. Uh, and everything is good. Yes, yes. Thank you. What about you? Huh? Will you join Wealth and me? Or have you got other plans? Uh, don't know why, but something tells me I only have one real option here. <laughs> Good guess. Although I'm not too sure of the reason, the representatives from the IPC have insisted on her presence. Allow me to lead the way. Follow me, please. The negotiation will commence at the hotel lobby. Everyone, please follow me. Interberry time. Ugh, I teleport. Thigh Paz! Oh, not him. Uh, I don't, I don't care about Dr. Ratio. Adventuring is... Mm. Like, come on. You put two perfect people right next to each other. I can't. Ah. Uh. It's been a while, my Astral Express friends. Yeah, I kind of just kicked your ass, like, an update ago. The presence of everyone here assures that the talks will likely reach a conclusion that satisfies all sides. Well, looks like everyone has come with expectations. Care to share? Of course. Topaz, if you please. Sure, leave it to me. Okay. In summary, it's good news. After much deliberation from the Strategic Investment Department's Council, the absolute majority of members have agreed to the following resolutions. In light of long-term considerations for international peace, and by authority of Pierpoint HQ, the Strategic Investment Department, on behalf of the International Peace Corporation, will permanently relinquish its claim on Penacony sovereignty, and offer unconditional support of the family's rebuilding efforts on Penacony. Ah. Uh. <laughs> now that's something. Yippee! What's in it for you guys? To be honest, it does nothing to benefit the IPC. But it is extremely beneficial to the long-term development of the entire universe. Let's go! Has the IPC finished sharing all its thoughts? Then it's our turn. The Guild, much like the Genius Society, has taken a keen interest in the recent calamity in Penacony. Ultimately, both parties have agreed to a comprehensive collaboration, offering technical support for the reconstruction of Penacony. Awesome. Is yours for the finer points, Mr. Oh, Mr. Mr. Skrillum, hi. Please. Organic life's unrelenting search to understand the realm of inner spirituality is something I both admire and envy. Inorganic life has no mechanism to evoke dreams. But when my mechanical impulses are activated, my inspiration circuits will start to operate, and I will enter a state defined as imagination. Every time, within the realm of imagination, there emerges a fire from the shadows. It is warm, bright. I frequently ponder this flame might represent the essence of intelligence. A cluster of inspiration ignited by high temperatures. The future direction of the universe may well lie within it. Alas, uh -huh, uh -huh. but projections of my thought system. Desired, but unattainable. But after learning of Penacony's accomplishments, I have come to realize that the flame is not beyond my grasp. After deliberations with my partners, we have decided to defer the progress of the Simulated Universe project, and instead assist the Intelligentsia Guild 
as technological consultants in the research of the dreamscape and memory zone, so that these assets may be better used to serve humanity. Not only that, we've also established contact with the Garden of Recollection through the IPC, and they pledge their support for our research endeavors. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm truly happy for the Dream Chasers on Panacone. The cosmos is brightest and, let's admit, dimmer intellects are now at their service. Yay, it's a big W for everyone. But, uh, never mind. At the end of the day, this is a positive outcome. <laughs> no wonder everyone insisted that she be there. It heartens me to learn that everyone is willing to put aside their differences for Penacone's plight. I trust that everyone will surely reach consensus in the upcoming negotiations. Looks like Penacone's future is decided. I'm wondering, is there anything else the crew is concerned about? Peace is our greatest wish. Beyond that, we desire nothing else. <laughs> well, that's good. Now that everyone's minds are at ease, I shall take my leave. You may now depart with peace of mind. The Alliance will deal with all subsequent procedures. If that's the case, it appears that we have nothing else to worry about on Penacone. Looks like it's time for us to embark on a new voyage. Sounds good to me. You two head back to the Express first. She teleported. Can deal with the checkout procedure. Oh, also, Miss Black Swan, you have a matter to discuss with me, yes? Mm -hmm. Nothing escapes your attention, Miss Navigator. You've been with us this whole time, huh? In any case, she and I will be waiting for you and March on the Express. Let's go. Our time on Penacone has come to a fruitful end. No! Ends here. I guess it was pretty fruitful. But look at the perfect people! Oh, okay. I guess I have to leave Patagonia. It's fine. Oh, no. meeting is about to start. We're all waiting for you. Ahem. Looks like everyone's present. Let the navigation meeting commence then. Okay. There's a meeting to decide our next stop. <laughs> How are we doing this? So show of hands. Hold your horses, cowboy. It's for those to decide. What in tarnation are you guys doing here? To explain, Mr. Boothill and Miss Black Swan submitted a request to temporarily travel with the Express for their own personal reasons. As you all may know, the Astral Express never declines any passenger whose heart yearns for the distant stars. Therefore, they will be traveling with us for a while until they reach their destinations. What? The Express is going to be much livelier now. But, Miss Black Swan, you better not use your memo keeper abilities to pull any pranks. <laughs> Understood, Miss March. I promise you, you'll never see me in your room while you're taking a break. Uh, don't! You're freaking me out! <laughs> alright, alright, now that everyone's met everyone... We can continue our navigation meeting. Firstly, Pom Pom wishes to thank everyone. If it weren't for you all unearthing the truth about Penacone, Pom Pom would have never known where Mikhail and the rest had gone. What they had to go through was regrettable, but I reckon they all fulfilled their wishes. And it was thanks to all of you. Thank you, everyone. No problem, Pom Pom. We come to the crux of this navigation meeting. We must decide on the Express's next stop. Let me introduce our current options. The first choice is from Himiko, 
The oceanic planet of Lushaka. A planet composed entirely of water. Many aquatic races reside there. Of course, it's also the home planet of the venerable, nameless Mikhail. The second choice is the agate world Melusanin, suggested by Welt. It's famed as one of the initial sites of the Stellaron disaster, and the place where the beauty Idrilla ascended. Today, it's Ugh. celebrated as a planet of undying allure. The third choice is Edo Star, a planet nestled within a vast ion storm region, currently under assault by the Antimatter Legion. However, the distress signals from there have recently ceased, prompting the IPC's wish for us to check in on the situation. The last choice, courtesy of Black Swan, is the glass belt Petravia, a massive belt of asteroids that was turned to glass by the Lord Ravager Zephyro. These days, it's apparently known to house one of the branches of the Morning Actors Troupe. Ooh, so many. I thought we were going back to Urillo 6. Next up, everyone will select the destination that they wish to visit, and then we'll put it to a vote. Little Misha the Oceanic. and Mikhail's homeland. Having been through so much in Tanatoni, as an aspiring nameless, I believe a visit to his homeworld is a must. Count me in. Still, I imagine that planet must have changed entirely after the Stellaron disaster. I've heard that its land masses no longer exist and the native population has completely changed. Oh! Hmm, I'm not against Miss Himeko's choice, but... Edo Star sounds like it's in danger. As nameless, should we not extend a helping hand? March is right. Though the fact that the distress signals have ceased means we're probably too late. But I still think we should investigate the situation there. Three votes for Lushaka. Two for Edo. Looks like we have a winner! Next stop, Lushaka, the ocean planet! Then this navigation meeting is adjourned. I'll go check the warp jump coordinates. Everyone can catch up on some rest in the meantime. When it's time to make the jump, Pom Pom will make an announcement. There's still some time before the jump. What should I do? <laughs> How about a chat over here? Yes, anything for you. You're here, seeing your reflection among the stars in the porthole <laughs> really does seem somewhat surreal. How about it, this journey of beautiful dreams? Was it to your liking? Yeah, but I want more. It's just so peak. Kind of left me wanting more, you know. Tinge of regret, I sense. Oh, these are the kinds of lasting memories I cherish. So, how about you hand that small parting gift back to me? I'm quite eager to have it back. What? Oh. Hmm. Oh? Yes, bad boy. What happened? Hmm. Never mind. I just stumbled upon a particularly fascinating spot in your memory. Before I explain, I would like to apologize to you. This fair Damn, that's a lot of money. Isn't really a compass from the memory zone. But merely an empty light cone. Remember when we entered the hotel in the dreamscape for the first time? And I procured a few trinkets from your companions. Their functions are similar. This way, I can always be attuned to your location. Ready to assist immediately if you encounter any threats. But 
This is not its most intrinsic function. Light cones are slices of oh, real. Hello. It's solidified phenomena. Mm -hmm, this mm -hmm. empty light cone is the same. It can etch your memories in their most vivid form. Mills, welcome back. Then, allow me to admire and manipulate them, turning them into unique mementos. All the world is born from the power of mind and soul, and that power Up to you, bad real. boy. To prevent ourselves from being forgotten by the world, we must make the world remember us. Or use our memories to recreate it. Sorry, Momo Rail. Uh, yes, our 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 game streams end at seven seven p.m. Eastern now. Roughly like an hour and a half from now, right? Is that how you math? Life seemingly vast offers but a scant collection of impactful memories some joyful some sorrowful some light some heavy but you are different thank you memory is a reflection of the future within that reflection i see your unparalleled worth you have the power to craft memories that can captivate the world your memory can illuminate the universe's future path. And that memory will be as scintillating as the star clusters you see in this portal. You're making me blush. <laughs> <laughs> How adorable. But do you know the deeper meaning behind Yes, Kurumi. The reason is simple. In this grandiose and ostentatious okay. dream of the families, only you personally experienced the entire course. I'm doing good, Momo. What does that mean? Patience, my friend. I will reveal the answer to you, but that time is not now. Oh. Turn around and take a look at your friends. Every one of them is reveling at the arrival of their next destination, all filled with hopes and expectations of their own present and future. <laughs> Revealing everything at this moment would be Thank you for the hydrate of a buzzkill, wouldn't it? I'm looking for an opportune time, a time when you're totally at ease. Perhaps when the night grows hazy. And you're about to drift off would be the most opportune. How about one fine night? I will prepare the candles, aromatics, and even oh. out to create a cozy dreamland for you. And then I will tell you the answer in the form of a little bedtime story to lull you to sleep. What happens before that, you know? <laughs> and the candles and the... Thank you for the stretch and the ad butts. It looks like we're finally about to set off. There are countless gleaming memories out there waiting for us. Why don't we just leave it at that for now? Ah, that's right. As a small token of compensation for playing that little trick on you with the empty light cone, I will gift you with some words. They hold great significance to me. Life is akin to a winding labyrinth where memories serve as our sole companions. <laughs> You'll remember these words dearly, won't you? In the year 2158 of the Amber Era, the first year of the new epoch, the universe resumed its intended trajectory. The kindling of conspiracy smoldered in Panaconia, the land of the dreams. Failing to erupt into a blaze, it instead flickered briefly on Klopoth's anvil. 
before vanishing in the blink of an eye. The dead and those fated to die remain in their eternal slumber, while the living find solace in deep sleep. All clamored in a cacophony of silence and then went about their own ways. The cosmos emanated a vitality characteristic of a new era, all for the modest price of a brother and sister's mild grief. Babies are born as stars extinguish. The silver rail unfolds. The story of the Astro Express comes to a close, yet it also embarks anew. Time marches forward, heralding the arrival of a new chapter in the history of trailblazing expeditions. Okay, Momo, have a good day or night or whatever it may be for you. Yeah, that's me. That's me right there. Look, lead actors. That's me. Yo, I love that. I love that too. Oh my god. I love this. Mikhail. May this journey lead us starward. Countless shooting stars streak the sky tonight. If you can pick the right one, it will carry your wish to thousands of distant worlds. You're feeling very relaxed now, aren't you? So, then... It's time to tell you a little bedtime story. This is a good game, Nightmare. Well, let's start with a conclusion. The crew was defeated in the battle against Sunday. Everyone in Panacone failed, and no one... You're allowed to have that opinion. But don't panic. The truth, as horrifying as it may be, is not yet irreversible. There's still a glimmer of hope, and that's why I'm here. Next, I'll use this empty light comb that carries all your memories to relive everything that happened before. And when this story reaches its end, I'm sure someone as clever as you will notice that. There's a major flaw in the story you have experienced, yet... Within that flaw lies a glimmer of hope. Are you ready for it? Yes. Remember everything. When the clock turned back, the Express started a warp jump, sending you to a strange dream. You were bewildered back then, and then a galaxy ranger named Acheron showed you a way out. Yes. When you arrived at the Reverie Hotel, you met the doorman Misha and had a confrontation with a Venturine, an IPC representative. Thankfully, Acheron appeared again and helped you. Yes. After that, you saved Firefly and explored Penacone together. During the tour, you ran into Sparkle disguised as Sampo and accidentally entered a child's dream. There, I rescued both of you from death, but Firefly didn't return to reality. She realized the truth and tried to involve you in her plan, but that resulted in an accidental death. Even more unsettling, you soon encountered another murder. Yes. The two cases of death prompted you to investigate the truth behind the sweet dream. Despite your efforts to gather information about the two victims, you didn't make much progress. 
Besides, you did learn about the Watchmaker from Gallagher. Meanwhile, Aventurine was secretly carrying out his scheme, in which you were one of the pawns. In the midst of a fierce battle, Acheron revealed her true identity as an emanator of the Nihility, and unsheathed her sword. Also, yes. That strike foiled Aventurine's plan, and opened a passage between the Sweet Dream and the original Memory Zone. Upon your arrival at Dream Flux Reef, you learned the truth that death was actually dormancy. As well as the truth about the Dreamscape, the Stellaron, and the bellboy, Misha. You split off with Sunday and Robin, looking for a way to seal the Stellaron. However, it turned out that Sunday and the Dream Master had their own hidden agenda. And you had to engage in an ultimate duel on the stage of the Charmony Festival. Finally, the story reached its conclusion. You emerged victorious, with the Trailblaze triumphing over the Order, and Penacone embracing a bright and peaceful future. This marks the end of the thrilling journey in Penacone. I'm sure you've already noticed something unusual, haven't you? The major flaw, which contradicts all the known information, hides in this story. Uh. Major flaw? Which contradicts all the known information? Oh, uh, the major flaw, which contradicts all the known information, hides my first encounter with Misha at the hotel. Hmm. Little Misha, or should I call him the Watchmaker? That's yeah, that's the only thing that. He is only a segment of memory in a dream bubble, but his ambition for the Trailblaze led him to leave the bubble and embark on a grand adventure in Penacone. Well, Misha is a rather special memory zone mean, and he was granted power by the Trailblaze, there's still one thing that he shouldn't be able to do. Hi, Didi. A life born in the memory zone what can the never hell? manifest in reality. So, why did he appear in the Reverie Hotel in reality? Yeah, I don't know. The answer is simple. He is the one fatal variable that contradicts all our known information. This means that you, who wholeheartedly believe in this memory, are still trapped in the dreamscape at this very moment. Wake up, sleepyhead. Break free from this eternal dream and return to the real world. We'll find our answers there. The train is about to make the jump. Five. What the hell? Good morning. This way, darling. Mm. On, we meet again. Oh, thank you so much, Black Swan. 
Finally, I can breathe a sigh of relief. Deja vu is strong with this scene. I understand you must be confused, and we'll do our best to shed light on the situation. Holy However, shit, did none of that even happen? No, that this place is the rift between dream and reality. A place reserved only for those who have awakened from Enna's dream. Do you remember Sunday's ambitious plan? He intended to harness the power of Vestelaron, the collective will of over 100,000 Oak family members, and the desires of everyone in Penacone to usurp the harmony and restore the order. Yes. Unfortunately, it didn't stop there. From the early days of our journey into Asdana, we were already affected by Vestelaron, that strange dreamscape where we met. Maybe it was a sign that your thoughts were beginning to drift away. I'm now back at the beginning of the story. I don't think the goal of the Order was to put everyone into a deep sleep. Quite the contrary. They used the Stellaron to catalyze the leakage of Astana's Memoria into the material world, allowing the dreamscape to blend with reality. What? And that included a lot of memoria from the Beyond the Sky Choir. As time came and went, the dreams eventually became indistinguishable from reality. And reality became an illusion. People think they are awake. But their spirits have stepped into the Temple of Order. Muse the Darkner Musician. So Thank you for the follow. You are now a baby bat. Welcome on in. Everyone indulges in their delightful dreams and lives happily ever after. I believe what you experienced in the sweet dream, except for that flaw, was real. Only in this way could you reach the destination, lifting the crisis in Penacone and embarking on your next trailblazing expedition. If it wasn't for Acheron's plan, we might have been trapped in this dream forever. Fortunately, while the path of the Order governs all things, it can't affect the Nihility. I came to realize this when the Dream Master tried to expel me at any cost. This is also why you felt a sense of peculiarity when traveling with her. Well, I'm not as fortunate as she is, even if I'm a memo keeper. I was still influenced by the power of the order and fell into hallucinations. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We star railing? Yes, we are in fact railing the stars. Now we still have a chance to turn the tide. For mortals, even if they possess the great power of a path, they can't create a flawless world like gods do. That's why there was a flaw in your dream. In other words, once you have realized the world is not real, You'll have a chance to break free from the dream. The flaw in your dream lies within Nisha, who could have never appeared in reality. When I turned the pages of your memories, I realized that I was in an illusion too. Didn't expect it all comes back to Nisha. Usurped the power of the Harmonious Choir through the Charmony Festival. As Donna has thus fallen into Enna's dream, transforming everyone equally into the notes of the Eon. Failure doesn't mean weakness. Only the strong can gather the will to resist the Order and try to break free. We still have a chance, though. To make it happen. Please, Black Swan. Guide us to those with a strong will. All right, please come with me. Okay, I come with These you. People are... They're the ones who accept Anna's dream. And... Ah.
I teleport. I wasn't expecting this at all. Here we are. Robin! Yes. Robin? Finally, you've arrived. Let me introduce you to Robin. She woke up from Anna's dream by her own will. And it's this tough lady who led us here with her song. I woke up for the same reason as all of you. In the dream, I experienced something that could never occur in reality. Are we going to lock it up in a cage? I want to see it fly freely in the sky. Without us, this bird would be too fragile to survive on its own. Do you want it to die? No, but... <sighs> then let's take care of it together until it can return to the sky. Uh, uh huh? Birds have wings because they're meant to fly. Even if they may crash on the ground one day, they shouldn't be trapped in a cage. <laughs> Birds belong to the sky, so we should help them return there, right? The illusion was so impossibly blissful that I realized it was just a dream. And this is our final hope. Anna's dream is founded upon the Harmonious Choir, namely everyone's shared wishes. It will only materialize once the aspirations of all beings in Penacony merge as one. At present, it has become impervious due to people's desire to remain slumbering within the dream. And in order to destroy it, we must make everyone in Penacony want to wake up. Now comes the tricky part. How do we do it? You're the one that can, like, wake people up. That doesn't sound simple at all. Humans yearning for sweet illusions borders on obsession, leading them to subconsciously resist the harsh reality. I'm just a bit annoyed that this is basically engine impact, but in space. It's literally... It's made by the same people, of, of course. On the other hand, I do think this game's way better than Genshin Impact. Though, on the other hand, the worlds are connected. Technically speaking. They, they are in the same world. Or universe... Whatever, I don't... You know what I mean. I carefully selected a moment where she was completely unguarded, guiding her to uncover the truth herself to make her regain her consciousness. However, to wake up everyone in Penacony and get them to share the same determination, that would be nearly impossible. Indeed. I'm afraid it's almost as difficult as resurrecting an eon. But we can't just stay here and do nothing. This is a critical moment for the whole universe. Who cares about some dumb number? Well, well, well. Someone enjoys making a dramatic entrance. Thanks, the Black Swan. And thanks to the memo keepers in Penacony too, I believe your partners have also awakened from their dreams. This is the first step of our plan. With the assistance from the Garden of Recollection, those who possess a strong will, like you, will gradually awaken from the dream. Yes, I, we so went over this. Are the discord that will sway Anna's dream. Mm-hmm. However. Awakening a mere handful of individuals is insignificant compared to the vast number of people immersed in the dream. We must find other ways to awaken the free will of millions of people within a short period of time. If breaking through from the inside proves challenging, 
We can seek assistance from the outside. We've long been aware of a potential solution. As Donna is a galaxy known for its abundant memoria and the remarkable phenomenon known as Synesthesia Dreamscape. When people first enter this place, they often find themselves and others sharing a collective dream. At this very moment, there is only one dream encompassing the entire Asdana system. So, you mean, if we can attract a large number of outsiders to this system, their free will would intertwine with this dream and shake it to its core? However, sure. those outsiders might also succumb to the dream and become the foundation of the Order instead. The real challenge is, how can we gather a huge number of people as determined as you within a short period of time? <sighs> Looks like the Jade Abacus of Allying Oath will be the only solution. No. No need for that. Keep your wants and lifetime treasure. We don't need to bother the Sienjo Alliance for such a tiny request. You, you want thousands of people with unwavering free will? <laughs> That's easy. Just leave it to us Galaxy Rangers. You can gather Galaxy Rangers? <laughs> Outsiders may see Galaxy Rangers as elusive disconnected individuals and actually they're right and that's why we have a tacit understanding among us do you know what it is Acheron? that's a it's the relic i returned to you yes yeah, the relic exactly <laughs> its owner must have told you that it's meaningless to anyone other than a galaxy ranger and that it can only fulfill its purpose when returned to its rightful owner because it's a burial artifact worthy only of a hero who has served the galaxy rangers with honor when its light illuminates the universe it means the fall of a hero and in the direction it falls countless meteors will streak across the sky those meteors are galaxy rangers coming from all corners of the cosmos driven by a shared purpose without questioning the cause or counting the cost because we abide by a common principle the shooting stars of the hunt only descend on the longest night and with them comes the dawn we've stayed silent for far too long now it's time to remind all the cowards Oppressors and villains of the universe of our presence. I'll be the one to ignite the first spark. Once the dreamscape is swayed, I'll complete the second step. I'll fine tune the slumbering souls with the song of the harmony, interrupting them with the discord of Trailblaze, and guiding them towards reality. It's true that some people are born strong, and others are born weak. If the Trailblaze is the target of heroes, then the Harmony will guarantee that the strong help the weak. Only the people of Penacone themselves can be the saviors of their homeland. Their path of happiness should be forged by themselves. I may not be nameless. I'm willing to instill courage in all those who need it. This includes my brother as well. But this dream is too cruel for him and everyone else. Your plan sounds well conceived, but still, it appears somewhat idealistic and romantic. The flaws rooted in human nature can't be eradicated overnight. Do you believe these efforts alone are enough to convince everyone to choose the right path? Man, guys, I'm invested. I agree with you, Black Swan. That's why the most critical aspect of this plan is not to convince everyone to choose the right path, but to inspire them to save themselves. <laughs> so, you're the key in the end, I assume? 
The Harmonious Choir possesses the power of an emanator. To overcome it, you'll need the same level of power. The final step in destroying the sweet dream will be my responsibility. That's a relief to hear. <sighs> now that our roles are assigned, let's get to our battlefield and pose a grand finale. May I have a moment alone with you? There's one more thing I need to explain to you. Okay. This grand festival is drawing to its close. This is the starting point for the ultimate stage of our journey. Just as it marked the beginning of all the stories in Panacone. Whatever we're facing, I'm prepared. Oh, Stella's so pretty. However, before we depart, there is one more thing I must tell you. There's something you should know. We were able to locate you within this boundless dream and find the key to breaking free from the dream. All because of one person's unwavering dedication. Firefly. She awakened from the dream ahead of others, discovered the Express amidst the stars, and brought us valuable information about the remnants of the Order. She may have been aided by the script, and it came at a cost. As you know, Firefly is a stowaway who entered the dreamscape in a different way from ours. Without the dream pool in the hotel or assistance from the family, she can only awaken from this dream in one way. A real death. We mustn't fail her determination. I'm not implying that we must win this fight no matter what. But our resolve should match that of that courageous lady. Are you ready? Let's embark on the final stage. Very well. Now, please close your eyes. Okay, they're closed. Senpai! Hello, hello, hello! Uh, okay. We do, uh, you. I'm gonna... Oh, oh, oh! Thank you, thank you for the follow, Senpai. Welcome on in. Get comfy, get cozy. We're we're finishing up the story. We are, in fact. Why do I run here? What do I? I guess I could pull out my Acheron. That's fitting. So I could pull you. out my my, my Black Swan. I can. Uh, do I do? Do I need a support? I need a support. Kafka works with Acheron. Bet. Hold on, where's the quick? Bet. All right. Oh. How long has this rain been on? Oh my god, is this when we find out that, like, Acheron is, like, Raiden Shogun, like... <laughs> if I remember correctly, it has lasted for decades, or even centuries. The unwavering determination of the hunt followers persists even in death. 
Yeah, that that's yeah. They're like I don't I still don't understand that. They're like dolls or something, but not but like in their time. I don't know. And they won't be reduced to puppets of the nihility in their death. You see? The shadows on the sea have vanished. Do you remember? He once said that the sky would clear when the regrets of the departed had faded away. Nah, they're related. What do you mean? It's still raining. I know. So, why is all this? Why did this rain choose me? Because someone's regrets haven't been fulfilled, perhaps. Uh, they both have purple hair, they wear purple, they do electricity damage, and they both have swords. On a past ocean. <laughs> leaving behind a trail that creates countless ripples of possibilities. These ripples last longer than the fleeting lifetimes of humans. And for some... Their presence leaves such a strong mark that it's reflected in the waves. Sin thirsters. The obsessions of the past writers. They emerge from the depths of Ix, seeing themselves as masters of their own destiny, unknowingly repeating the actions of their past lives. They emerge from the nihility and head toward it, leading purposeless lives. However, these hollow phantoms, they have journeyed with me for such a long time. Oh. No, the, she's, uh, she's May. Raiden May? I figured that. Are you watching over me? This is my duty as Acheron the Watcher. I'm guarding the path to the abyss of the Nihility. You're burning every soul together. reluctant to become one with it. Back to this side. But if this is what the departed ones expected. Should you try to change it? I don't know. But someone once told me that when the inevitable moment Oh came, shit! He hoped that Oh shit! The ads! The ads! I stop. You get out of here, you stinky! You stinky! Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Everyone with a sub, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go stretch real quick because I can't sit here and and not and not play this. So I'm I'm gonna I, I, I'm a BRB. I'm a BRB. Enjoy enjoy the lo-fi. I ah. I'll be right back. I'll be right back.
I'm back. Hi. Sorry. I was giving Luna treats and stretching because she's been a super duper very good girl. I also gave Pumpkin treats. Don't worry. Pumpkin is my other cat. To the people that don't know. But we're going to go ahead and pause the music. And continue. Someone would stand at his grave and place a bouquet of flowers. Even if it doesn't make sense at all. Some tasks have to be done, even if they are pointless. I have experienced that much already. Please extend your hand and then close your eyes. Am I a strawberry? Carry your wish with me and fulfill it. I ate strawberries today. Only then will I be able to put an end to the final regret by the Dead Sea. Will I? See them again? Yes, that is certain. Because it was you who told me about the Express, your two former companions. The expedition cut short by the swarm. Misha? Your narrow escape. Mikhail? Whatever your name is. Encounter with the Galaxy Rangers. And Pemicone. The hometown to which you could never return. Yeah. For countless times, I got rejected by the family and had to pass it by. But I knew that my companion was still there. Lucky? <laughs> Are you still there? I don't know who Tiernan is. I don't remember. I don't remember you. We will leave this place. You'll embark on a long, long journey shrouded in darkness. But fear not. As a touch of red. I, I know you're, I know you're another, like, uh, well, what are they, uh, astral, uh, uh, nameless? A person from the Astral Express. Follow it, and it'll guide you and illuminate the way out. By doing so, you'll eventually reunite in the warmth of the sunlight. Thank you. My death. Be the end of your boundless dream. I don't know what you look like, though. To the waking world. Welcome to the horizon of existence. I've this been here before. This is one of the thousands of manifestations belonging to the sleeping and shapeless. And it's also an exit out of the nihility for the awake ones. Let's bid our final farewells here. Splish splash. Always distinguish between reality and imagination. All right, Gray. Life is akin to a winding labyrinth where memories serve as our sole companions. May your schemes be forever conceived. Anna's dream was too cruel for him and everyone else. Uh huh. To the imperfect tomorrow. Oh, every every single time I go to run. Okay. Why does life slumber? We don't know the answer yet. 
But we're about to awaken from this dream. Or perhaps such is the answer itself. Leave this place. I do be EP. Return to where you belong. And awaken Panacone from this dream. I plan to. Will I get to witness your hidden power? As I said, our plan is not about convincing everyone to choose the right path, but about inspiring them to save themselves. So, when will people actively save themselves? Whenever they want to. Yeah. When they are in desperate situations. Like a drowning individual in the deep sea. When one's body and mind bear immense pressure, agony, confusion, and despair. That too, yeah. I firmly believe that. The fragility of humankind often freezes them in their tracks. But in truly desperate situations, they will strive to save themselves. And now, Panacone has enough heroes to lead them forward. It's through this inherent, self-centered instinct that people exert their utmost effort, even when they know their struggle is fruitless. As absurd as it may seem, it's their resistance. As for now, it is time to guide them, not as a savior, but as a nameless among those mortals. Aha! Uh -huh. In this way, you will reunite in the warmth of the sunlight. Ugh. The rain is intensifying. Before we part ways, please allow me to ask a few final questions. Okay. So far, you have forged unbreakable bonds with numerous individuals and entities in the sweet dream. Might I ask? If you fear severing these bonds with your own hands. I feel no fear. I, I don't. I, why? Why do you let me pick? I have if there no options. Life like dreamland that is virtually indistinguishable from reality. A realm without death. Where everyone can attain the happiness and fulfillment they deserve. Living blissfully ever after. I would ask. Would you wish to stay? Yeah. I would never... I would never ever want to live in a dream. Imagine if this splendid dream were fated to fall apart. Friends, family, strangers. Followed by the gentle breeze, soaring birds, the stars, and ultimately yourself. Everyone and every face they remember. The joy and the heartaches, the vows sealed and those left hanging. All will inevitably march towards a predetermined ending. If you had grasped the journey's finale right from its inception, I would ask, would you still embark on this journey? Yes. I would blaze a trail without hesitation. I'm glad. The answer itself doesn't matter. What matters is that you've made a decision. Listen, touch, and ponder. I feel like she asked me that before when we first met. Cherish it, because that's what makes us exist. Such is the only answer humans can offer when facing the nihility. If the nihility represents the primal fear of life, rendering any lofty convictions insignificant under their imposing shadow, then behind this shadow, there must exist the most fervent source of light in the world. Just as every life that edges closer to death fervently approaches the end of the nihility, we must pursue that primordial light. Okay. Now I've come to think that you exist.
against in the nihility. And you watch over others to depart it. Such a task is absurd and meaningless. Nevertheless, someone had to do it. As for the meaning you mentioned, even if it's a meaningless task, I've come this far, haven't I? Even if the future you forge may not even belong to you. It may not belong to me, but it definitely belongs to someone. We love to hear that justice. Hardships you must have experienced. In that case, allow me to do something meaningless too. We love doing meaningless things. Do me. I am Raiden May. That's the only Raiden I know. That's not Shogun. So. I will stretch in a minute, Justice. In the distant future. I remember that marks the start of my journey. The origin of the vibrant red hue in my life. And the most fervent element amidst every tempest. That's my name. Raiden. Bozen Mori. Bozen Mori? The golden dream is getting restless. In the coming long I didn't know we had middle names. Who's Bose and Mori? Witness many tragedies. And in the end, you will only see in black and white. But please believe me that in that monochrome world, there will be a glimpse of fleeting red. And when you make a choice, it will appear once more. What you must do is ponder its significance, then return to the waking world. That's where we all find our answers. Pulls out hat as weapon. <laughs> how can I check my total gifted? I'm not sure how you can do it, but I know I can tell you. Have you broken free from the dream of order? We've done enough sleeping already. Let's show them a wake-up call. I think you've done 200, maybe more. I think like 210. Hold on, I'm stretching. Stay alert. Don't let his tune distract you. Given a sub is five dollars each. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Five times two hundred. That's a thousand. Fuck. <laughs> Listen to our song. 
I needed to be fast. I'm sorry. I'm fake. <laughs> Stand still. Free will, or was it fate? I'm still water storage. <laughs> Thank you, Justice. Again. Nap time. Relax. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Why is everybody silent? The noise is fading. <laughs> Mr. Meow, hello, hello, hello. What do you mean? I don't know what you're on about, Justice. Destined for oblivion. Cut in the net. <laughs> Time to say bye. Boom. Disorderly noise. Listen up. Let's play our own. Let the show begin. Oh, no. Stand still. On the still waters of oblivion. Disorderly noise. Nap time. Relax. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Don't worry. Damn, not my phone giving me a notification reminding me I have three bills due this week. The audacity. Destined for oblivion. I weep for the depart. It too shall fall. It's okay, I'm cracked. Oh. 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 Uh. <laughs> Stop, that hurts. Oh, thank you, Nat. Okay, Justice, have fun at work. Brother! <gasps> Rabbit! Music. She's coming with the harmony. There seems to be another kind of sound coming into the Order Symphony. <laughs> Panacone's first, last disharmony. Let's go. Those imprisoned in their dreams are awakening for freedom. Disorderly <laughs> noise, Robin. Is that you singing? Brother, you have heard their cry. This is not the paradise they hoped for. Even so, they don't know where they should be heading. That's why. I had to become the lone star in the sky to guide them. Even if that star must hang in a perpetual night of solitude. We pop in everything. Our own melody. Let the show begin. 
Good times never last. Time to say bye. Boom. How noisy. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Wake up. Cut in the net. Free will, or was it destined for a Stand still. Naughty child. I want to hit them with the train again. That shit was funny. Oh my god. That's so cool. <laughs> Another journey begins. Bro, it did nothing. Ah. Still waters of oblivion. Still the same old. Again. All things are part of the melody. Sink into a dream. <laughs> Leave Stella alone. Look at her. Let the show begin. Oh my god, I love it. Nap time. Stand still. Noisy. Still the same. Free will, or was it fate? Destined for oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. If we had never experienced solitude. How could we have embarked on different paths? Now, our final talk has concluded. All the work of creation has been completed. The inevitable day has arrived. The embryo of philosophy will reshape for us all of reality. Your paradise can save more people. Sever my path with your hands. I swear on truth. Keep up with me. Every time you break a layer of enemy toughness. Oh yeah, I already know about that. Yep. Wake up. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. Damn him, Echo. That line was hard. Anyway, Dance. sorry, hold on. Just don't not use your ult. Think nothing of it. Don't worry, it's just a scream. Wake up. Let's play our let the show begin. <laughs> That'll <laughs> say bye to breathing. Blasphemous. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> Listen up. Next time. Wake up. May as well kill him. <laughs> time to say bye. Boom. I weep for the departed. I'm telling you, they listen. I I think they treat Honkai Star Rail better. I have never been disappointed in this game.
Oh, sorry. So, why does life slumber? Because someday. We will wake up from our dreams. First year of the AE 2158, a fiery conspiracy erupted in the land of the dreams, but soon faded in chaos and destruction. Who the fuck are you adventuring? Whispers carried the tale of those fateful 48 system hours when a sun Who are you? <laughs> on the precipice of collapse, a paradise stood on the brink of destruction. It's rumored to be Elia. Oh! Poised to surrender to its new master. Amidst it all, a body decayed, a pack of vultures gathered, and a brother and sister were doomed for eternal separation. And so, an eon succumbed to slumber once more. Some celebrated this fall while others mourned. Among the insignificant witnesses, mere specks in the vast tapestry of the universe, it was said that this time, the Eon met their demise with dignity. As the cosmos bathed in the radiance of a pure dawn, a tempestuous storm brewed on the horizon, the chant of everything for the Amber Lord grew ever louder. Yet, no matter how one contemplates it, time inexorably swings Klopot's colossal hammer in eternal cycles. The tale of the Astral Express reaches both its conclusion and a new beginning. Time marches forward Heralding the arrival of a new chapter in the history of trailblazing expeditions. Brother, do you think the stars will fade away? Where did that come all of a sudden? Because the constellation that looks like the bird, the Torrid Eagles, Looks a bit dim lately. <laughs> it's the Torment Eagles. Don't worry, it's still there. It's just it's located in the inner ring of Penacony and can only be seen when spring and summer overlap. As for the question you asked, I think stars do die, just like people. But do you know, sister? No star actually belongs to the present. The light we see from them is from a long time ago. Even after the stars perish, their light will travel millions of light years, spanning countless years, to illuminate the night sky of another world. In our paradise, I believe there will be a star like that, shining with the same light, its radiance will last forever, and its name will be happiness. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. No, not just one star. We should have two stars, or maybe even more. Yeah, you're right. It's a deal. It's a deal, then. This is our promise. 
and nothing will sway our ideals. Yeah, you bet. Yeah, that's me. That's me right there. Lead actor. Very blushy. That's me. I thought it was going to be blank. <laughs> I can't read all of that. We love Mikhail. Oh yeah. So is that it this time or are you going to prank me again? Are you going to prank me again and be like, "Nah, actually, uh third third time's a charm." <laughs> it's a pleasure to hear your voice again. Jade. You've become the biggest winner of this festival. Are you calling just to poke fun at me? No. I'm just impressed. You venture alone into Penacony and discover the truth of Dreamflux Reef. But you also managed to escape with the help of that Knight of Beauty. Remember the recording you received from your Trailblaze friend? It's now the most valuable chip in this game. However, this came at a high cost. Losing a cornerstone is a hefty price to pay. Diamond just called a meeting to discuss what to do with you. Just as I expected. So is Diamond planning to demote me or kick me out of the Ten Stone Hearts? <laughs> Why don't you take a wild guess? Well, all right. Then I'll guess. He's going to promote me to P46. What will you wager? Are we talking about a real bet here? I don't want to wager anything just to escape your clutches. But if it's just a friendly bet, I'll put on the line what I did when we first met. I'll bet my life, ma'am. Interesting. But since it's Diamond's call, no one can predict the outcome. I'm on my way to Pentagoni. Once everyone is settled, we'll return to Pier Point for the final showdown. Sounds like I'll be out of the action for a while. Finally, a chance to kick back and relax. Yeah, leave everything to me and Topaz, child. Thanks to you. As soon as the Jade Stone was delivered to the family's compound, we finished up our preparations. The seeds we planted have taken root. Soon, it'll be time to reap the rewards. Huh? Let's wrap it up for now. 
Looks like I've got a visitor here. Is it me? Oh. Oh. So many surprises today. Didn't expect a galaxy ranger and wanted criminal to show up here. One who managed to take out two IPC members under the noses of our fleet. Do you understand what that means? Screw Wubba Boo, I just put him to sleep. Don't try to intimidate me with that nonsense. Besides, I've taken down more IPC lackeys in the residual value you squeezed. And I don't mind adding a few more zeros to my wanted poster. I have a question for you. Fair. I'm not on mute. Hello. I don't mind putting a bullet into your head. I've just I'm I'm invested. It, it it's it's taken so many turns and Tell and me. things and and now I'm just like Yippee! 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 Okay, let's see. Let's go through all of this. Uh -huh, excuse me. Uh, yep, 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 okay. More things to do. Uh, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Characters. I got more thingies for you. There you go. Yet united in purpose, we make the same choices. Yes, Stella. Preach. Pop off. Of course you would know that deity, of course. Hold on, I have to get all of my free things. Yes, yes. You. Yes, yes. Cool. Da 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 da! Yeah, I don't remember where the hideout is. Deity. Dream's Edge. Okay. There is... Well, the left. Go the other way. Okay, I'm going the other way.
there's this that's that was the dialogue that was the dialogue uh, why was i expecting talking uh hold on i'll claim it and then i'll i'll read it again this observation deck has breathtaking views. You could almost see the entire dream's edge at a glance. It's not an easy place to find. The person who introduced it to you truly values your friendship by sharing this view. The memories you created with that girl are too many to count. Whether they were happy or otherwise, they will become a part of you like an oat cake roll eaten and ending up in your bed. Oh my god, it's on auto. In your belly. The previously mixed emotions have gradually dis disappeared replaced by a palette of ser serenity, a night sky of realty, re reality, reality, oh my god, Barry, unstreaked by shooting stars, you know that both of you have a mission to complete, be it in the dreamscape or reality, to this end, you two are forced to go separate paths towards your own preordained destinies. When all this is over, you will see each other again. That is what you believe. You hope she'll be safe and well then. Yippee, yippee. Yippee, yippee, yippee. We love free jade. Speaking of free things, guys, if you have not claimed the codes that are in the chat, claim them. Go, go redeem them. Go save them. Go claim them. I don't know when they expire, but use them before they do because it's free things and free stuffs and we like free stuffs. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> Is there anything I have to claim? Yeah, like level up rewards. We love level up rewards. Give me my free things. Pom 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 pom. Don't be sad. I'm here. Uh, obviously we're not going to be doing simulated or anything else today. Uh, we, we are kind of at our, uh, our time. We are kind of at our time, guys. It's very true. We are, we are in fact. So, we are, uh, I didn't do anything for my characters, but we did finish the, the main story of what is out so far. We, we finished Penacony. I'm sad to see it go. It was... Even though I haven't had any issues with the past two worlds, Panacone, Panacone was great. I loved all three. Panacone was just a different kind of like, it was twisted. It was twisted and great and cool and I loved it because it was so mentally twisty, you know? Who, who do you believe? Who do you trust? What's going on? Because none of it's like real, like the reality was warped. And I just, I think that stuff's so niche and cool and uh, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. But guys, we are going to go ahead and move over here. We're moving over here. We're gonna go ahead and close the game again. Remember guys, use those codes. Use those codes, use those codes. We're starting up the lo-fi. Starting up the lo-fi. But hello, guys! Hello! Thank you all for coming along with me on the journey of Penacone. It was super duper fun. I had a, I had a great time. Uh, I hope you all did as well. Uh, it is good to be back. I will be posting... Uh, the stream schedule for next week, so starting tomorrow, Monday. Uh, here in a bit, when I end stream, I'm going to get it posted everywhere for you guys. 
Uh, let us find somebody to raid. Let's see, are there any homies? Are there any of the homies? Mm -hmm. Uh, we go, we go with Honkai. We go over to the Honkai, we find somebody. There are homies. And they do play Honkai, but they're playing other games at the moment. I feel like we should still raid in to the Honkai. And it's always good to raid new people. We love to Yo, I'm high up there. I'm not really that high up there, but... <laughs> I'm up there. There's not many people... Sh oh, it's because Withering Wave still has all of the, like, glory. And the banner's already been out long enough that people are... Like, mmm. That's okay. We can still raid peoples. Duh, we can still raid peoples. But okay, guys. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I kept you here long enough already. Thank you all for being here with me today. Uh, I will let you guys know in advance I am taking tomorrow, aka Monday, off. Um, that's the day I normally take off every single week, so I figured it would be best to just do that instead of doing like a Friday or something. So I'm just going to take off Monday. And then every other day is going to be like normal and whatever you could I'll, I'll post the schedule in a bit. I'm just letting you know tomorrow. I won't be here. I, I might I might pop up for a little bit. Who knows? I have missed you guys, but I'm not required to stream tomorrow. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> guys, if you haven't yet again, the codes go ahead, get them, grab them, whatever. There you go. Join the Discord. It didn't work. It didn't work. Is my bot down? <laughs> Is my bot down? What about socials? Oh no! Is my bot down? Oh no! This can't be. Not like this. Hold on. Teehee. <laughs> Teehee. Thank you all for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Oh. That would explain a lot. That would explain a lot. I fixed it. There we go. Yes. <laughs> Guys, go ahead and join my Discord server through that link there. You can get notified for when I go. Did it! Let me do it. Uh, you can get notified for when I go live, when I post on Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, all of that good stuff. I am going to be uh spamming a lot of uh bods that i forgot to unprivate while i was sick so we're you know there's that but uh it's cool we have uh weekly community events every thursday we get together and play uh community games every uh uh saturday we get together and watch anime we're currently watching free Rin, and that is going amazing i'm super excited to watch more i've been wanting to watch more so bad guys oh i've been wanting to watch more but i i can't i have to wait i have to wait <laughs> also go ahead and join my socials through that socials join check out my socials through that socials link there that has my patreon which is mainly for asmr content but it is for support uh Twitter, Discord, TikTok, YouTube, all of that good stuff. I post my stream schedule on Twitter, in the Discord server, on my Instagram as well. You can find that through the socials uh, link. And even on Twitch, there's a uh, schedule tab. I'm going to put it all there. And there's also a like schedule panel thing for my stream times uh, in my panels. So I, I, I spoil you guys a lot. <laughs> What else? 
Uh, if you guys would like to support me in any way, shape, or form, you being here, chatting, following, lurking is great. I appreciate it. Also, oh, super duper very much. If you have not followed me yet, now is the absolute perfect time to do so. I stream every single day. I take one day off a week normally. I'm sorry for being sick. Please forgive me. <laughs> uh, if you would like to support me further, uh, you can sub or use your free Amazon Prime sub on Lil All Me. It helps me out a ton. It is never at all required, but you do get ad free viewing, tons of super duper cute emotes to use across all of Twitch, and special roles in the Discord server if you would like. If you would like to support me further than that, uh, you can donate to me through that link there. All that money goes directly towards me. It helps me fund things like the new model, new PC upgrades, uh, stream stuffs, microphones, games, everything. And also check out my wish list. Same thing, just a bit more direct to the specific things you would like to help me out with. If you would like to add me on the Honkai Star Rail, there you go. There is my UID. I will add you when I'm next on. But there is the raid message for everyone. Go ahead and copy and paste it. We are raiding Saki. They are super duper cute. They are, they are doing the Honkai of the Star Rail. And uh, yeah. I love you all. I hope you all have a good night. And uh, I will see you all Tuesday. Mm -hmm -hmm. I will see you all Tuesday. <laughs> Ads are about to start, and I don't want them to start. I don't want them to start. I will feel better. Thank you all. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you all for being here. Oh my god. Mwah. I'm gonna go get some good EP sleepies. <laughs> Gonna go get some good EP sleepy. Actually, some food and then some good EP sleepies. But have a good night. I love you all. I will see you all Tuesday. Okay. Bye bye.